Warning, this is a pest control video and contains footage of animals being shot. If this is likely to offend, then please don't watch. Please see the description below for more information on this video. There's also some links you may find useful. Welcome back. Two farms on this shoot. We've got the dairy farm and the livestock farm. Just before going to the shooting, just going to share some trail cam footage here. This is the new feeder that I set up on an earlier video. I go up every couple of days, stock it up with junk food, I mean peanuts, and check the trail cam footage and see the best time to visit. Now, these couple of shoots are switch pellets. GSB kindly sent me some Hades to test. So I'm switching from the GSB heavies to the GSB Hades and this is going to be the first one out for those. Who's first? Be you Mr Rat. So Dairy Farm has the odd rat running around now. You can see this one just run along the edge of a cattle barn disappears inside and I managed to spot another one up on the rooftops. Hit this farm very very hard over the past couple of months Brought the numbers down quite a lot, and of course the warmer weather's coming, they're all going to bugger off into the fields. This has always been a bit of a hot spot. This is a corner of the calf barn. Uh, the calves are very inquisitive, and this is really as close as I could get. If I got any closer, the calves start wandering across and want to sniff me crotch. But that's just not cricket, is it? He doesn't really stick around to be honest, he disappears pretty quickly. This one however sticks around just long enough and I put a hole straight through him with a Hades. I went for a walk around onto the main farm, spot the rat. Now I'm 20 yards away from this building, I've zoomed in a bit to help you. Can you spot the rat? Yeah he's there, put the thermal on, look at that. This is why I love thermal. This is how thermal increases your count when you're taking rats. I spotted that no problem on thermal and I'm zooming in and waiting for him to show himself so I can take a shot on him. After a short time, he starts to walk along the wall, but he just doesn't come out enough to take a shot. This is the lagoon, the slurry lagoon. Now I spotted this again on the thermal, follow it across and I take a shot. I thought I'd missed, but then he rolls out. Not quite dead. So I take a second shot to be sure. So far, so good. Seem to be just as accurate as the heavies up to now. Back onto the main yard. This is the feeder station that the rat was running along the top of that wall. It's now dropped inside to help himself to some spilled feed by the feeder. He's filling his belly full of cattle feed, so I'm going to fill his belly full of lead. Tuck that shot straight into his high body. The reason I've gone for that and not waited for a headshot is because these have to be cleared up. This is the end of, I say it in quotes, ratting season. They're all disappearing out of the farms. The farmer wants rid of the rats. So I'm confident these Hades are going to cause maximum damage, punch a hole straight through his heart and lungs and finish him off. Just hanging around to see if he sticks his head up, because if he does, I'll be splitting his nut with the Hades as well. He doesn't, because he's rolled out the side of the barn, hasn't he? Look at that. There's the impact side. Wallop, straight in. Finished him off good and proper. Uh, don't drink that mate, you'll get lead poisoning. Don't. Don't say you weren't warned. Don't go after him mate, he's dead. Trust me, he's dead. Back over in the feeder, I've got a rat trying to work out how to get down from the ceiling. Let me help you. 
<laughs> there we go. Helped them down with the Hades. Let's drop down behind the feeders. Now I can see him on the thermal underneath. I think it was underneath the third one along. I can't see him on the night vision because he's got his back to me. Rude. He's under there somewhere. Let's go around and have a look. Oh, that's ruined his day. Round two, Squirrel versus Hades. First squirrel of the day. I got three on this session. So he's having a good sniff around. He's sniffing that stick because the stick had leaned over and was pushing the feeder over to one side. So I grabbed hold of the stick and dragged it and straightened it up. So I think it's picking up my scent on there. It's just not sure. So just before he goes in for a feed, he's just relaxing in the morning sunshine. Probably sitting there thinking, how cool would I look if I had some thug life shades? He soon gets on the move. Look at him sniffing that stick again. It's only my hand, I didn't wipe my bum on her for God's sake. The sniff on the top because when I restock the feeder, I put a handful of peanuts on the top and rub it in. It's very wary. You can spot the GoPro on the right hand side. He's going up there, help himself to the peanuts and back and down and eat them on the branch. Now that's fine, I can take a shot there, but come on. I've got the effort of putting the GoPro on to get some good footage. I'm going to wait for the shot. I'm going to be patient. Here we go. His belly's got the better of him. And he's helped himself to the peanuts there. This is the ideal time to take a shot. He's got a peanut in his hand, his mind's elsewhere, he's not paying attention to what's going on around him, and he's perfectly still. And when they're perfectly still, things like this happen. Wallop. I've just spilled squirrel all over my feeder. Let's check the slow-mo. 100 frames per second. You can see the shock that pellet made on impact. Very impressive. It's nice to see the woodpeckers out and about and getting a free feed as well. They don't appear when the squirrels come along because the squirrels chase them off. So I'm just taking a few minutes and watching Woody as he helps himself. And then this little sod rocks up. Little nest raider. It's only a young one. But young squirrels become big squirrels and big squirrels are a problem. He's less worried about the GoPro sitting there. He's more interested in filming his belly. Plenty there. Take your time. It's a beautiful morning. Just enjoy it until you get shot. You think you had eaten for a week? Look at that. That feed is never empty. There's always free food there, but you can't get enough in his face. Okay, enough watching, time for some shooting. I've heard some people saying how they've shot the squirrel in the head and it didn't die. I've never experienced that, but I did today and I'll show you why. So here's the shot. That was a good solid head impact. And I thought, he's hanging on there, this is disinhibition. There's a link in the description to explain what that is. But then I noticed his front legs kicking and his back leg lifted up and grabbed hold of the shelf. 
and it looked like he was fighting to pull himself back up. So I know now he's not dead. So go for a second shot. I've gone for a high body shot because that's the biggest centre of mass. It's moving around less and it's more humane and I can pretty much guarantee a good steady shot. And that did finish him off. So if you have a look at the replay, you can see what I'm talking about. I took the shot, hit him in the head, but it was just slightly too high and I think I've missed the brain and has gone in between his ears and into his body. So that's caused some serious trauma, but just not enough to finish him off. Let's have a look at the replay in slow motion and you'll see it looks like the pellet parts the hair between his ears before it knocks him off his perch. Now that has done a lot of damage, but I've had to resort to the high body shot heart and lung shot to kill him. I think that's why people who are saying the squirrel was shot in the head and didn't die, I think they missed the brain. Time for a little downtime while waiting for the next squirrel to come along. Oh, where did he come from? I was clearly having too much fun eating me biscuits, eating me crisp, chewing frutella, eating chocolate, drinking tropical juice. Anyway, back to business. Let's get him shot. I'm happy with that. Straight down. Do you see where he was sitting? I put those cat spikes there for a reason. So I don't want them sitting there so I can get a nice good shot. But he's sitting there with his brown eye facing me GoPro. I'm not that impressed actually. I got those cat spikes on there because they're suitable for cats, birds and squirrels and he comes and sits on them. He's coming there to eat some nuts. Now he's scratching his nuts <laughs> on the cat spikes. <laughs> oh well, that's another one down. Good job that pellet switched him off because that would really have hurt. Anyway, that's us done for the day. All wrapped up. And another nice shot of Woody Woodpecker filling his beak. Such beautiful birds, aren't they? Three squirrels. Farmer was very happy with that.